What's going on guys and welcome to Good Company, a game that is about to come out over early access and going into 1.0 this Tuesday the 21st. And yes, Epic did send me a key and uh, it's basically a game where you start off in a little kind of shed, garage kind of thing and work your way and build an empire. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the campaign and start our brand new industry. Uh, so after many years away, you're back in the good county, proud home of the tinkerers and tycoons. Upon your return, you discover that uh, ruthless global corporations have brought the local industry to its knees. Now your fellow citizens are in need of jobs and, uh, and someone to offer them a brighter future. You've been hired by the Federal Bureau of Industries to get the local economy back on track. Their consultant will contact you shortly. Okay. So this is our first one, and it does say returning home. Uh, we've got a couple of levels here. We need to earn 4,000, uh, whatever that is. Uh, craft 15 battery stacks per week and test what you have learned and release a new product. Product milestone, produce 10 calcutrons uh, per week. Interesting. So let's jump straight into this. It's probably going to give me like basic tutorial stuff, isn't it? No, kind of skip all of this. Bloody, bloody, blah. Okay. Zoom in and out, move camera around, pan around, do the dance, do what we need to do. Okay, mouse on reach, done. Uh, basics. Yes, character, we know that as well. This is our little character that we made. I'll give you a little introdu introduction to him. This is Bits. This is me. Nice pink shirt. But apparently I need to click on him. Mouse on reach, done. Great news, you basics. Bloody, bloody, blah. Skip, skip, skip. Now get me to the good stuff. We need to learn automation. So we need a tinkerer table. We need to hire somebody. I did see it saying employee. Yes. Hire a new employee and make plastic cases. Okay. Boom. Done. So you're making plastic cables, but you need plastic. So I'm going to presume we need to bring in an order of plastic, right? You're probably going to tell me that in this order, aren't you? Add rule. Yes, you are. So let's add a new rule. Let's get plastic. And then that's plastic being delivered, which I'm going to guess it comes the day after like it just did and then he shakes his arms around and makes the plastic whatever he's making is the plastic thing isn't it what is it plastic container i can't remember what it was a sell orders as well okay so we can sell orders as well add new rule plastic case and then sell okay so now he's just going to bring in get the so he's just constantly going to loop around now right and wave ah! his arms around like a crazy madman so now that we've done that We've got another milestone done. One step closer to success. Isn't it great to have a dependable employees? Just common sense. Halfway through, it's almost time for us to start building products. But first, we need to expand our module production a bit. So construction, um, then we've got some tabs, and then we place it down. Bada bing, bada bosh. So open here. Here's the thing. We don't have more tabs because we're going to guess we need to unlock them via a tech tree or research. Uh, then we're going to place it down a new table, which it did say just place down one, right? I oh, have three tinker tables. Interesting. So now that we've got three, uh, we've got an LED array and single cell batteries. So you're going to want me to get some of them. We've got a manual up here as well. We can ready to do this on our own. Hell yes, we can. So we need to make three plastic case, three LED arrays, and three single cell batteries. So first of all, let's hire a new employee. Let's get a single cell battery in there. And that needs chemicals to actually be made. Okay, and then this one we're going to make LED array and then that needs electronic parts. So let's get you as well. And then we're going to go into here, add a new rule, which is going to be electronic parts. I'm going to add another rule, which is going to be chemicals like so, right? That means because that's making a single cell battery thing and then that one's making an LED array, they don't have anywhere to sell them, right? So I need to put them into here put you and then make sure you set to sell and then the same with the led array and sell that one and then they're all just gonna wave their arms around like crazy men make the make the products and then sell the products and then we just wait for this objective to be done and then boom we're on to the next thing so it's basically we have to select the items at the tables select the de delivery and selling points but this is only a small little like pallet right here so we must have to buy some new ones later 
But we've just got that milestone done. Fantastic. It's good to see you're catching up on all these new product concepts. I think we're ready to talk about assembling products. This is where it's going to get interesting. We're going to probably going to use some of these items here to go to another table to make a better thing. So, yeah. Manual assembly. Assembly tables are required to assemble products from modules. Assembling products similar to crafting, but instead of crafting a module, you assemble modules into a product. So basically, like, like I just said. Like I just said. So now we need to place down an assembler. Well, let's place it over here. Let's kind of... Yeah, no. Yeah. Let's place it over there. Uh, open the assembler table. Yep. Good calculator, which does require the LED array, the single cell battery, and the plastic case, which is everything we're making anyway. So let's hire somebody new. And who's the employee for this? Stavros Pobovac. Stavros, hello. Welcome in. Set a cell order to the good calculator. Okay, let's go into here. Add a new rule. Uh, good calculator. And then set an... Oh, it automatically went to sell. Okay, so these are just end products then. So end products get sold. Interesting. So we just need to wait for three of them to get made. And I'm just going to walk around twiddling my thumbs because, you know, I don't need to work. I have employees here. <laughs> let's remove that from the side of my screen. Thank you very much. Now let's wait until the employees have assembled three calculators. Yeah, we're, we're waiting on that. He's doing his best. Look at him. Smashing the table. So this does have... So we can see this. Oh, the calculators are one package. Interesting. So the chemicals come in bulk of 100 and like the plastic and stuff. Hey, I was reading that. Uh, and the, the electronic parts and stuff. But the actual uh, products are actually going into singles. Okay. So they don't stack. So now we just need to make a profit and earn 4,000... What is this currency? Gold? Gold. We're just going to say gold. Or good coins. I'm not calling it good coins. Good company coins. <laughs> Come on. Make me money. Ah, so the end of end of the week is a Monday. So that means when it goes to Monday, we'll bring in more profit. And we should get this achievement, right? So it's Saturday right now. Sunday. And... Monday. There we go. Oh, hello. Newsflash. Get your eyes and ears ready. Another company has dug itself out of a difficult situation. Hell Kudos yeah. to the CEO. Okay, so we can continue playing so we can get more trophies, it looks like. Or we can go to the back to the campaign map and move to level two. But we can see we've got a couple more tr uh, uh, trophies to grab. Let's continue this. Okay, so great work. You have been covered by the local news. That's news anchor. Love talking about the latest industry. Blah, de, blah, de, blah. Nice. You can continue to the next stage if you want, or feel free to stay a bit longer to earn additional trophies. Yes, that's what we came to do. We know this. So we've got to craft 15 battery stacks per week. Optional, add a cell order to the battery stacks, or optional, set up a, a staff for eating tables for battery stack productions. So we need to make batteries. So if we go into here, let's get three new tables down. And we're going to be back to back. And then we're going to set these ones to batteries. And these require plastic and chemicals, which we're already ordering in anyway. So that's not so bad. And let's just get three batteries going. So we need 15 per week. And let's add a cell order to these as well. So batteries, oh, add a new rule, batteries, cell. Let's do that. And that's already two of them done already. Three tables, battery set to cell. And now we just need to wait for 15 battery stacks per week to actually get made. But Instructor Goldfield also says, I have also a checklist for you for some point. Yeah, I've just read that. I've just read that. What do you mean? I feel like they work with like banging tunes on, you know? So it does look like they're at a rave, doesn't it? We're nearly there. Come on. We're nearly there. One more. One more. Wait, it went down to three. Why is it going down? No. Go back up. Go back up. 14. 30. No. We're not making 50. I think I need another table. I am putting down another battery table. Because apparently three is not enough. I have three down here. It tells me to put three down. I add a cell, which I've done. And there we go. I put a fourth one down and it works. Damn game. 
It's great to see you mastering those tasks on your own. I'm confident you have a splendid career ahead of you. Thank you. There's just one last thing to do. I prepared a new blueprint for you. But for this one, you'll need to change your production. We still have loads of room we can use in the courier pallet. Okay. Each inventory only has a limited number of slots. Yeah, we just kind of mentioned this. If you increase your production output, you may need more slots of products. Uh, you can increase the number of slots by editing the reserve slots. Interesting. It is possible to reserve slots for items while something else is still there. Uh, okay, so I need to... Uh, we need to assemble eight Calcatrons products per week. So we need to go into here and we need to make eight of these, right? So let's kind of put one there and one there. Well, yeah, and we'll get these two making Calcatrons, which require LED array, battery packs, and plastic. Let's hire someone for that. And then let's get another one on here. Let's get two of them being made. Are we going to need more plastic and stuff? It does look like it. Look, missing materials, LED array. We need more of these tables. So we need to do a whole shuffle around, right? Let's shuffle everything around and uh, come back when I feel like I've got a nice optimal space. Right, I have now moved things around. So on this right side, we've got four of the batteries being made with the calculator being made back here. We've also got then two plastic being made here. We've got the two, uh, what they called? LED arrays in the middle. And then we've got the two single cell batteries at the back. And then back here is where the calcatrons are being made. So it's a little bit cramped in here, but it's working. We could not get something else in here, I don't think. So now, remove the cell order for good calculator products. Okay, so let's remove the order for cell order for that. So let's remove that order. Optional, add a cell order for Calcatron products. Add Calcatron, cell, that's that one done. And we need eight to be sold of them. So this is the order here. Right, noted. Optional, stop the good calculator production stop that where's the oh which is this table so we don't need this anymore ah so let's just bulldoze that wait that one bulldoze can't de why fire on deconstruct dump inventory content why cannot these why no blueprint stop is it because she's holding it davros drop the baggage yes let's just fire him be gone stavros it was good knowing you. And then I can I can sell this. I, I can I can remove this now, right? Why can I not deconstruct it? Why? Anyway, the objective's done. We've just got a table at the back here we just don't need. Uh, but we've done everything. Now we just need to assemble eight Calcatron products per week. Move! I will do tuna sandwiches for you at lunch if you get this done. As you may have noted, we actually need eight. Yes, I've noticed. Thank you, Miss Goldfield. You don't need to tell me. I've noticed. I see the sheet you have prepared for me. I even think two tables might not be enough. I think we might need to utilize this one to make the eight products as well. We That means Mr. Stavros, whatever his name was. I've already forgot his name. He was a bad employee. Could have stayed and worked on a new job. Who's this guy? Maybe, it's, maybe he comes back. Here he is. Here's the new guy, Isaac Vertanen. Hopefully that is going to be enough for us to achieve our weekly goal. Hey, there we go. Fabulous. You managed to complete all the tasks. I had said we are about done here. Perfect. How interesting. You must be fledging Kerry as taking charge of, uh, can I presume? I uh, can't say that I resemble. Okay. Regardless, I am Rick Ta Ta Takeda, communications officer at uh, at the FBI. I'm sure we'll have some pleasure more in the future. Okay. That is, if you can stay in business, it's hard to stay afloat, especially when there are sharks in the water. I'm sorry to get it. it looks like you can scare newcomers. Looks like positively in the future, the journey has just begun. You are a true tinkerer now. I'll give you a call when we are ready for your next session. See you around. Good luck. Don't give up too quickly. Would be a shame. So now it's forcing us to go to the map. So now it's telling me to check out Charles's circuit place because we have completed tier one. But we're going to maybe do that in another episode. So let me know in the comments. So check out this content right here if you want to see more content by yours truly. And uh, remember to subscribe and like. And as always, keep smiling and I'll see you in another video.